really quick. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what's going on for the love portion of the reading. All right, so if you're on Patreon, the reading should just keep going. Hello to all my YouTubers. I do want to make a quick announcement before I move forward. Um, if you are watching from YouTube, I just want you to know I am still going to be posting the signs regularly. Um, I'm just going to be posting them at my own pace. I've gotten to the point where I cannot keep going the way I'm going. Um, I know a lot of you don't think that I post a lot or I post often enough. I do, and I've been trying to revamp how much I post and, you know, trying to do less, you know, six videos a day instead of eight videos or um, whatever. And it's just not working that way. I feel like I need to do what's best for me and work at my own pace. My wrists are starting to really hurt. Um, I'm not able to really keep up with things the way that I would like to. So I'm going to start pacing myself. Um, I've also turned off my comments as you guys can see, because a lot of what, what was making me push myself was wanting to please people and getting those comments. Oh, you don't do Gemini enough, or you don't do Scorpio enough, or you don't do those were really starting to bother me. Um, and of course it has a lot to do with me more than it has to do with you guys, but just to protect myself as I transition through this non people pleasing energy that I'm going through through um i'm just gonna turn my comments off until i feel ready to do it okay um so we are going to talk about love for you guys i hope that this resonates for you guys if it doesn't please check out some of my other readings okay they may resonate for you so first out of the moonology we have the end of a tough cycle approaches but it's in reverse and this is a full moon and capricorn card okay let's see what else is going on towards my collective and love right now what messages do they need to hear we have, it's time to take action. And I feel like this is, I'm channeling your person for a lot of you. So we're going to focus around your person's energy. And that's what I said I was going to do for November anyway. So let's see. Yeah, this is like your person. It's time, yeah, a time to give rather than to take. Okay, so some of you guys were dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries. The bottom of the deck we have, nothing will come of this situation. We also have new moon in Virgo. Okay, so... This person, um, hmm. so uh, for a lot of you guys, this person thought that this cycle between you guys would be over. Like they thought like, okay, what happened is, is this person has done a lot to you, um, in the past. There's been like a lot of hard energy between you and this person. I feel like this person thought by now that you guys would turn a new leaf that, because I feel like you've been through cycles with this person. I feel like you've been through times where, this person did you wrong and then you kind of just like um accepted them back and it wasn't really resolved you know what i mean um they were able to like pull you back in without there being much resistance and like myself you guys are going through a transformation in your life where you're putting up immense boundaries and you're no longer people pleasing you're no longer accepting the bare minimum just to have someone in your life okay so now that you're at this point this person has to understand that the way that they communicate and deal with you has to be different um we have choose wisely for them we have spiritual strength and we have financial and material changes but that's the five of pentacles so i feel like this person misses you um but they still want to be guarded. I feel like spirit is trying to explain to this person that right now is very careful with the way that they approach you. They should be very careful with the way that they approach you. They should be in the energy of wanting to give to you more than taking because this person took a lot from you energetically, spiritually, mentally, financially, emotionally. This person was acting very narcissistic in the past. So uh, because there is so much, um, the, this is the nine of wands for me. There's been so much damage between you guys. I feel like if this person makes one more false move, it really is going to be the 10 of wands to where there is no salvaging this connection. And for a lot of you guys, you're saying there is no salvaging you right now. That's great. That's a great energy for you to be in, especially if this is your twin flame, right? Because that means that you've gotten to a level of self-worth to understand that this person is not on your vibration, okay? You can't conceive it because you understand that this person is not on your vibration. They're not what you deserve. That's a good place to be in. However, the cards are telling me that at least for right now, there is not a full closure with this person, especially with the end of a tough cycle approaches. Even if it is a, a situation that's meant to be over, I feel like it's meant to end on a different note, okay? I don't feel like it's meant to end the way that it is right now, okay? So we did do the 18 plus on Patreon, so we're gonna just pull for you guys this love energy with this person. Let's see what they're thinking and feeling. I think this person knows that they need to take action and an action that 
shows that they're really ready to give to this relationship and not take from you anymore. Even if it's just, like I said, to clear the air with you, to get on a better page with you, because I feel like this person misses you and they do not like the way that things went with you guys. They're still like, like this person may feel like you hate them or they, they may feel like you don't like them or there's a bad taste in your mouth because of them, okay? Um, they thought that by now things were going to change and it, they weren't going to have to do much to change it like they may have been in the past but that's now they're realizing in order for this and tough cycle between you guys to really be over and clear they have to give to you they have to um take action towards you so the sun here yeah the sun is talking about change for me it's talking about ch coming back towards someone changed so this could be someone that you haven't heard from for some of you you still may be in like slight communication with this person but again, the thought process of this person is changing the dynamic, coming back different, doing something different. They also may see you as their happiness. They think of you as happiness. The sun represents happiness. Some of you guys could be Leos, of course, right? They also feel like you've changed in a positive way. You've outgrown this connection in a positive way. They're realistic about that. The hermit is how they feel. They feel like you have, um, again, outgrew them. You've gone wise. You've gone quiet on them. You have taught this person a lot. These are two major arcanas. So you are a very big, pivotal energy in this person's life. Some of you guys were like a tower moment to this person. You were a high priestess. You were a hermit. You taught this person a lot. I feel like this person um, thinks about you a lot heavily in their solitude, okay? Very Virgo. There's a lot of Virgo here. Six of Wands, how you're influencing this person. So this person likes to put on, this is definitely like very strong narcissistic energy for some of you, where this person has a persona, they um, get a lot of attention. They're still kind of probably in that energy. But when they go home, when they're alone, none of that matters. All they can think about is you. The Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Let me see one more. Two of Wands, very Virgo. This person could be a Virgo, Ten of Wands in reverse. Mm. And the star. Okay, so yeah, this person is, they're not, they're not there, you guys. They're not quite getting it yet. They're not quite getting it yet. For some of you, there will definitely be communication with this person, but it's going to be very minimal. With a page of wands, it's going to be like a checking up on you energy. Maybe to see how you feel about them. Um, I feel like you're not going to give much to this person. I feel like you're not going to give them what you want. You know that they're coming around to check up on you and see how you feel. Um, you are aware of how they were in the past. Yep, see the page of wands. I just showed it to you at the bottom of the deck and it came out the deck. There will be communication with this person, but it's going to be very minimal. It's going to be like in and out. They're going to come in really quick, communicate, and then leave. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. This is, again, this person, the Eight of Pentacles, doing the same thing, expecting different results. You guys have to hold firm on your principles, okay? If you have let this person go because they were narcissistic in the past, you have to stand on those principles, okay? Because this is a lesson for this person, one way or the other. Whether they wind up with you or not, this is very much a lesson, and you have to be that lesson to this person. That you can't treat people any type of way and not apologize for your actions, not really change your behavior, okay? Way too many cards. The Knight of Wands just fell out on top of that. So again, person could be trying to come back around for sex. Um, others of you, they have not dropped another burden that they have in their life. It could be a family that they have, a relationship. Um, sexual addiction, whatever. They have not dropped some other burden that they have. They need to. A lot of you, it's a player lifestyle. They want to be a player. They think a lot about changing though, but they're not in this space yet. Give me more about this spirit. Give me more about this. The 10 of cups. Yeah. The five of wands. One more. The nine of swords. Okay. So yeah, they feel like there's, there's a couple different things for some of you. Um, they feel like there's competition for you now. Um, they feel like you might not even want them anymore. Like some of you, you've moved on to try to find your happiness elsewhere. And it very much angers this person, the Knight of Swords. It definitely angers them that you have started to like move on um, or that they would have to compete for your happiness. It's almost like this person doesn't feel good enough. It's so crazy because their thoughts and their feelings do not match their actions. And it's not even like, like, okay... Like, you know how someone says that they love you and, and those things, but then their actions don't match up. No, this is someone who actually loves you, 
their their feelings and thoughts to someone who loves you and actually respects you a lot and holds you in a very high regard and sees you as a very influential person on their life but then they act as if that's not the case they it, they might be addicted to a lifestyle or they might be stuck in a situation that is not allowing them to move on for a lot of you it's a lifestyle thing because of the knight of wands it's immaturity and the page of wands is here so let's see more about the sun the two of pentacles let's see what's up with this hermit the four of wands yeah this person thinks a lot about a life with you marriage this is two of pentacles the king of wands yeah, they think about stepping up and being that person for you. The emperor in reverse. This person thinks a lot about being a different person for you, okay? Being that guy. This person could be a Leo or you're a Leo. They could be an Aries, a Taurus, Aquarius, Virgo, Sag, okay? Um, this person thinks a lot about being that person for you, okay? They're just not there yet. I think that let me get you get you some advice but i think if you guys have significantly pulled back from someone and started focusing on yourself it is very much changing this person even if you don't think it is page of pentacles yep spirit thank you and the in the knight of cups they're telling you to give very minimal to this person Give very, very minimal to this person. Be aware that they could be emotionally manipulative. Ask questions. Be very inquisitive towards this person, especially if they're a water sign. The Queen of Swords, yep, Nine of Wands. They're telling you to protect yourself. You can talk to this person. That's fine. Um, some of you, this is your ex-husband or ex-wife or soon-to-be. You can be casual or cordial with them, but you still need to go through with the divorce for some of you. Um, if that's the case, if you're married, okay, that's just for a few of you out there. Others of you, if you want the commitment that you, you want in your life, if you want to be married, even if it's not to this person, you have to hold these strong boundaries. This is also a test for you to see if you've learned to ask questions, to be inquisitive, to not just give your heart just because someone makes you feel good. This is this is a test on both sides. It feels very twin flame. And then we have the king of swords here. So you guys need to let this person know that they've met their match and you know what they're up to and you're not here for the bullshit anymore. Okay? You don't have to be rude to this person. You can flirt with this person. You can talk to them, but you're not going to let it, you know, it's up to you if you, what you want to do, right? Cause yeah, this is, I ain't judging you this for someone, for some of you, this is someone you want. Okay. This could even be your divine counterpart. Um, I'm not judging you. If you don't feel like you're strong enough to deal with this person without getting roped back in, you might need to block them. I'm an alien. That's the hermit again. Okay. So yeah, some of you, this person has a karmic in their life or something like that. But what I really want to see, um, we're going to go into the extended and I want to look at, um, 2021 with this person. I just feel compelled to look at 2021 for this individual. What we're going to do, um, we're going to go through all the signs, Aries through Pisces, all 13 signs that I read for. And we're going to just pull a card and see how your 2021 is going to go. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll continue on with this energy first. We'll see what's going to happen for the overall collective for 2021. And then we'll go and do each sign. We'll pull a card for each sign and see um, how 2021 is going to go for you in love. Okay, so if you're interested in that, the link is below for that. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your support and love. Please continue to support me. I will continue to bring you readings in the best that I uh, the best that I can quality readings, not just rushed readings, just for the sake of posting readings. So again, support me and I will continue to come through with the content. The link is below for the extended. The Patreon reading is also up. If you guys want to see the 18 plus, join me over there. Patreon gets full access to everything early. Um, they also get readings more often than YouTube does. Okay. I love you all. I will talk to you later in the extended. Bye.